Did you know that you can use Copilot to help quickly fix errors in your code? Let's take a look at doing this in a TypeScript file in VS Code. So whenever you see a squiggly in your editor, Copilot can go and suggest a fix. What's cool about Copilot though is that it can suggest fixes that normal editor tooling would not be able to. Uh, and these fixes also work across all different types of files. I'm just going to demonstrate it in a TypeScript file. So after installing the Copilot chat extension and signing in with my GitHub account, which has a Copilot subscription or trial active, I'm just going to place my cursor over here on the error. So you can see that a little light bulb is showing up, which is indicating that code actions and quick fixes are available. I can now click on the light bulb or use the uh, code action shortcut, which is control and then dot to actually open up the little light bulb menu here. You can see that all of the quick fixes are being listed now. Now these first quick fixes are coming from the TypeScript extension, and they're actually not that useful in this case. So it's, it's talking about declaring a new method or creating a property, which is not what we want. Instead, I'm going to go and select this last option here, which has the little sparkles and says fix using Copilot. And now Copilot is going to go and try to fix the error. At this point, an inline chat has opened up and it has uh, pasted in the error message from the error that was shown in the editor. It is now trying to address the problem. And you can see that it is explaining, uh, we got our response back and it is explaining uh, with the fix that it has made. And we can actually see a preview of the fix right below the current inline chat. If we look at the code change that has been generated, you can see it's replaced make tokens with the correct call to tokenize. If we're happy with this change, we can just hit accept. And now the error has been fixed. And we can actually hover over tokenize to see that this method is now being resolved and there's no more squiggly. Let's take another look at doing this on a slightly more complicated error. So I'm gonna scroll up here. And now I've got a slightly more complicated error. If I hover over one of these squigglies, you can see that it's saying expects one argument, but got three. Now this error is not very specific and it's a little hard to figure out what exactly is going wrong here. Uh, we might try doing the wrong fix, such as deleting these arguments. Um, but in this case, we can just go and ask Copilot to generate a fix for us. So let's go in here and I'm just gonna place my cursor anywhere on one of the errors. Again, click on the light bulb. You can see that no uh, TypeScript fixes are available. We only get the Copilot options here. So I'll say fix using Copilot and it's going to try to fix the error here. You can now see that it has explained the fix. So it's saying to fix this problem, all I need to do is pass an array of arguments to promise.all instead of passing the values directly. And if we look at the diff, you can see that it has actually introduced an array to pass in the arguments. If I click accept, all the errors have been fixed. That's pretty cool because it's a fix that would take you a little bit of time to understand, especially if you're a more novice programmer. It might be a little hard to catch what's going on. You'd have to inspect the signature of promise.all and figure out what exactly is happening. But in our case, we could just ask Copilot to fix it and it went and introduced the correct fix for us. Now, Copilot's not always going to get it right, but it can often provide useful information about what the error actually is or kind of guide you in the right direction, even if it doesn't get the perfect solution. Again, these fixes are also not limited to just TypeScript and JavaScript. They work in other languages as well. So that's a look at how you can use Copilot to quickly fix errors in VS Code.